Hey everybody, Dr. Leo Crow, it's a Healthy Feet Podiatry. This one's a good one. I've got a patient who stepped on something. Take a look at this x-ray. Right there, you see this? That's a needle in the foot. And she's a younger patient. Um, she felt it go in, it slid right in there. She's been walking on it. She went to a walking clinic or an ER. They didn't want to take it out and she's been walking around with this and it's painful because it feels like it's trying to work its way out. So with these type of things, it looks like it's easy to take out. Um, usually what I do is I assess the x-ray, so I'm gonna go back and take a look at it. And I know it's going from medial to lateral. It's on the ball of the foot between the second and third toe. So I just kind of keep that in mind because sometimes it's like digging for gold. So we're gonna see, hopefully it's not a little expedition here and it's just an easy, open it up and it pops right out and says, hey, here I am, I'm the needle, ready to come out of here. So we're gonna find out, so follow me. Let's see what happens. Come on in the room, take a look at her foot right there. It's bleeding a little bit because I gummed her up. So you can take a look and then move over this way and check. Um, she's numbed up, we're gonna make sure she's numb too. And she said she's okay with being on video. So if you see her face, that's okay too. Um, she's not shy. Um, and she's, you can talk when we're doing the video too. So you don't have to be shy as far as that goes. Um, I was explaining to everyone about the x-ray that you can see it there. How long was that in your foot for? Um, for a month. Oh, so it's been a month that it's yeah. been in there. Okay. And you're walking around and you're not feeling like it's killing you, huh? I, I am. Okay. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make an incision here in just a second. We've got some betadine on and we numbed her up. Yeah. So what I did, because we're doing this in the office, let me clean this up here. Um, I put epinephrine in this, and I put the epinephrine in there just so it doesn't bleed as much, because these tend to bleed a lot. Um, and we know that this was, it was, we said it was between the, um, it was moving laterally, correct? Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna see what happens here. So it's actually over this way. Do you, yeah, this, you're not feeling anything, right? Just pressure. Okay. Let me grab this thing right here. And get some more light on it. How's that shine? Is that good or is it too bright? Probably too bright there. Yeah, let's get this okay. so it's not. Yeah, we'll do it like this just so it's a little lighter. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here. And let's find that blade. There we go, we go on the blade. Some four by fours. Let's see what we find here. So I'm gonna make an incision right here. Sometimes I'll actually draw a circle around the area so I have a, a bigger area to dig through, but I wanna sew her up so it heals quicker. So we're gonna make an incision right here. And we're gonna go right through. And you can see it's not bleeding too badly, which is good. And I'm going to take my curve stat here and see if we can feel anything. No pain, right? No. Okay. So now we're going to push on the foot and see if we can get anything to pop out here. <clears throat> Once in a while we get lucky and it just kind of pops out. Otherwise, a lot of times we have to just dig and dig and dig. And let's see what we got here. We know it's over on this way from lateral to medial. So I'm gonna see what I can find here. And sometimes we'll have a tunnel that forms. But I kind of feel something. We'll see, we'll look up close and see if we see anything. Any, nothing's popping out on the film either yet. No pain, correct?
take a look at that x-ray one more time. You can just keep it on that. We'll be right back. Not as simple as I thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay? Yes. So it's actually heading this way. So let's see. We know that it's this way. No pain, right? Yeah. It's funny, they look so superficial, but yet yeah, they can be very tough. Different instrument here. No discomfort, right? Yeah. So a lot of usually these things will just pop. I'm gonna push a little here and see.
sure it is. Yay! Wow. Yay! Wait, show the smile on my face. You see it? See how big of a smile I have? Because I found that these are a pain in the butt to get out. And you can see, this is a little thing. It actually looks on the x-ray like it's gonna be simple, it'll pop right out. It didn't, this thing was evading me. So I'm gonna punish this little piece of metal somehow. I don't know how yet, but I'm gonna figure out a way. But anyway, you can see that was in deep in there. What I did here, I'm gonna explain, is I made an incision that went diagonally on the bottom of the foot to not create a scar. We usually do like a Z type of incision. So you kind of have to go down, over, down, over, kind of in a zigzag fashion. So there's no scar. That's why I went sideways. It also gave me a little more exposure. Um, but anyway, it's out of there. So what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna flush it with a little bit of locos. This is 1%. That's straight up eight. Sorry, okay, that's cool. I'm, just, I'm gonna number a little bit longer anyway here too. Um, so we're gonna put some more numbing medication in here just so it doesn't bleed here too. This is also gonna flush right through. So this is gonna be helpful for it too for later. So I'm actually gonna inject her here, numb up the area. There is epinephrine, but she's young. So she should not have any issues as far as um, blood flow goes. It's epi one to a hundred. Um, but I want her numb for a while here too. Um, and that actually flushes some of the fluid through here. So let me go ahead and sew her up. We're gonna use some uh, four of, what do we have here? We have absorbable. Do you have non-absorbable suture? I yeah. don't believe so, I think okay. that's all we have. Okay, there's no other, there's none of the um, ethylon or anything like that. Can we check? I have three um, of yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. You do have three oak down there, okay? Three I'm gonna have you use that. Let me okay. just get, let me grab this right here, okay? So I'm gonna focus on this, and you can see we're gonna focus on this again here. Yeah, I need the non absorbable one. There we go, that's perfect. Yep, okay, because the non absorbable is better for this. It still bleeds, even with the epinephrine here. Um, so there's relatively um, little trauma um, from this. But what we're going to do, we're going to put her on an antibiotic and um, she's going to take what's called augmentin twice a day. It's a broad spectrum antibiotic and the antibiotic is actually going to just make sure that she does not get an infection postoperatively. Young people are pretty good. She's had this in there for a month without an infection, so she should be okay. Um, we did prepare this with, um, you know, betadine on the outside of the foot, but whenever you go in and open up someone's foot, you're opening up an avenue for infection there too. You doing okay? Okay. Okay, so we're just putting pressure on this. And I'm gonna pass this off. Switch. <laughs> Switch it. You can put it on me. Now I've got suture. So I'm using uh, an absorbable, or I'm sorry, a non-absorbable suture here um, that we're gonna suture up with. Usually this is a lot easier procedure when I'm um, doing it with an assistant. Um, but um, we're gonna do this for this purposes. We're just gonna throw a couple sutures across here and I'm going pretty deep here. Um, that's just because we were digging here and we didn't, um, we're not gonna put any deep sutures in. I don't want any deep sutures in here because we were digging out a foreign body. So let's sew her up here. Get this, get the blood stopped. Let's stop splitting here and she can walk up. The great thing is, because of where it is on her foot, I'm gonna let her walk on this because as long as she doesn't put um, too much pressure on it. So let me snip this guy here. Um, what'll happen is that she'll have to do kind of an apropulsive gait where she doesn't propel when she walks. Just kind of lift her foot up, okay? And then put it down when you walk. Um, and that's actually going to um, make it so there's no pressure on here and these won't pop open. You're gonna come back in in a week so I can check this to see how it's doing, okay? Let's get this here. Let me sew this up. Oh, 
slimy. That's what happens when you bleed. This is actually the boring part of the procedure. <laughs> Maybe not too boring when you watch this on a big screen. <laughs> kind of interesting to watch um, sutures going to the bottom of someone's foot. And um, you may be saying, wow, that probably hurts like crazy if it was actually done without anesthetic. And yes, it would hurt like <laughs> crazy because most people can't step on anything without pain. So you actually remember stepping on that needle, right? Yes. And you Okay, so you remember going through your foot. And this is the last one here. Um, how did the needle get on the ground, or what was the situation? Um, I was just looking at a house for my sister, so I'm, I'm not sure, actually. I'm probably there cleaning the house, and uh -huh. it was just there. Did your sister feel bad? She wanted to um, sue the landlord. <laughs> oh, God. She wanted to sue the landlord. Well, he was kind of giving her a hard time with trying to rent the place. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we should give your sister the piece of needle back. Yeah, well, actually, when I went up there last week um, in the same room, okay. and I found the same exact one. So Are I you serious? Do... Another? Yeah. Oh, so it was in the... Oh, it wasn't her needle. No, it was on the in the carpet. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wow. It's kind of like a needle hopped up there. Yeah. So, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so we could almost we could almost play a game where we could put um, this needle in there and see if someone else can find it <laughs> I, and see I if the winner gets <laughs> the winner gets to have uh, the needle taken out of their foot. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put a dressing on this. It's boring part. Who wants to see the dressing? I don't, but I've got to do it anyway. Um, so I'm going to put a dressing on here, some betadine, soaked adaptic so it doesn't stick. She'll take this off tomorrow. She's going to put Neosporin on. This is just a simple wound. And like I said, there should not be any problems with it opening up, even though she's walking out of it. She'll come back in in a week and she'll call me if it gets red or um, more swollen or more painful because that would be the sign of an infection. Um, like I said, antibiotics are going to prevent all that. So she should be happy and uh, maybe we'll do a video when we take procedures out, but that's kind of boring too. But if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and we'll have another great video for you soon. Thanks.